Hello, everyone, and welcome to Meticulous Talks on April 2nd. I am, as always, Curse of Chords. And I'm Hifrock. Good to see you, or talk to you again, Hifrock. Yeah, we talked two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Two weeks is a, sometimes a long time, though. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, this week we have something... Uh, on the one hand, a little different. On the other hand, it it is something that we've done before once. Uh, mm -hmm. A a quote unquote discussion stream, and I, I I find it interesting that the the last time we did this, it was the stream to talk about adventure format and whether it should exist. And now yeah. here we are again to talk about harmony. How the turntables? <laughs> exactly. Um, I I think. During, or at least my impression, certainly during the last stream that we talked about adventure, wasn't that it was going to necessarily replace Harmony if it became a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet, over the course of the last, well, really ever since it's become a proper format, uh, nobody's really interested in Harmony anymore. Yeah, you don't see as many Harmony nowadays. Like, not just in tournaments, but, like, just people playing in general. Mm -hmm. You don't really see anyone go, like, oh, I have this Harmony deck, and anyone wants to play with me. It's usually either Adventure or Core. Yeah, and Harmony was always a format that kind of ebbed and flowed a little bit over the course of its of its time, anyway. Um, yeah. Kind of like how Popper sort of... Every once in a while, there's a couple months where everyone gets into Popper, and then nothing for another few months so uh it's it's possible that harmony might have its return but well that would happen if someone scheduled a harmony tournament to happen at one of the cons which so far hasn't yeah. happened i think it will happen at some point but uh otherwise i think like adventure will be the more popular format now mm -hmm. um so yeah the the sort of topic point of this stream is, is going to be about Harmony and sort of whether it should be replaced by Adventure and kind of fade away into the distance or whether it should be changed perhaps to become more relevant or exciting or kind of more different from Adventure I guess or perhaps stick around as it's in its current form. Um, and as is always the case with these streams, we're just kind of going to follow the conversation where it goes. And if anyone has any opinions in, in chat, then feel free to throw them out there and we'll see. Uh, we'll discuss them, I guess. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if there was a particular topic you wanted to start on, uh, Hitrak. I mean, we can kind of discuss, I guess, how did it really come to this? Why Adventure is more popular than Harmony? Yeah. And that will kind of give us an idea why, what is the place for Harmony now? Mm -hmm. Well, the only, um, the only difference between Harmony and Adventure is just the Premier Block cards, right? Or are there, I didn't think to check until right now, are their ban lists slightly different? No, uh, I, I don't think so. Maybe like something, maybe Vapor Trail or like this kind of thing, but generally they are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, and I understand that the, uh, the, what I'm trying to say here, the methodology that Sim is kind of pursuing for the two formats is basically the same. Yeah. In that they are, well, yeah, cores, the, I don't want to say restricted per se, but the somewhat more closed format and in in the in the more open formats, it's more of an anything goes kind of philosophy. Yeah. I'm just bringing up the tournament floor rules to confirm. Harmony. 
Eh, it looks pretty much the same, yeah. Obviously, it's just going to be cards from the Premier block that are on the Harmony list and not the Adventure list. So, yeah, basically the same. Uh, and so what that means is that the, 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 the difference between the two formats is the cards in the Premier block. Yeah. And, and uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and I think that like there aren't that many harmony cards. Like there are definitely some impactful harmony cards, but most of them are not really like most of the cards in Premier Block are not relevant. Yeah, that's definitely the case. I I think you could probably count on just two hands the number of Premier Premier Block cards that are not completely outclassed by something that came in a later set. Yeah. Or got banned. <laughs> and are still interesting. Yeah, and what's there is also has like potential to be broken. So and I think that's kind of the thing about adventure. Like before Core versus Harmony was also the Equestrian Odysseys block, right? Mm -hmm. Which which is actually a big deal. Like Equestrian Odysseys block has so many relevant and uh, really good cards. And uh, it actually changes the core format quite a lot. But the difference between Adventure and Harmony, I would argue, is actually not that big because it like has, like most of the cards are the same, right? Except those few. Yeah. Yeah, the well, few premier cards. Uh, I suppose, yeah. I mean, there's there's. As I said, there are cards like Study Session. Yeah. One of the few from Crystal Games that is remotely relevant. And there's a couple of Absolute Discord cards. And there are the Epics, of course, that uh, change up Farms playstyle. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, they do change up playstyles and like decks maybe a little bit. But as a general, like Harmony is like a more more of a power format, if I could say that. Yep. And uh, like adventure feels a little bit more like less chaotic, I guess, in terms of power. And uh, <clears throat> and yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to finish this up. <laughs> yeah. Well, so for anyone, I guess, who doesn't know, like there is a. Um, what separates the blocks, especially in the early parts of the game was the difference in design philosophy. Um, in many respects, Equestrian Odysseys is kind of... What's the word that I want to use? Uh, frankly, New Game Plus is what comes to mind. It, 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 mm -hmm. it, it was almost like the, the restart of everything with a... Yeah, a reboot. Yeah, with the philosophy that we understand today. And so the cards from... Well, I guess, yeah, for one thing, the cards from uh, from Premier Block were designed for a game with different rules than the one we have now. Mm -hmm. But with the, the uh, first confront rules change. Um, and are also, yeah, just a cut below everything else that we've gotten since then, in large part. Uh, and, and so, yeah, they're, they're just kind of oddballs compared with everything else that we've had up till now. Generally speaking, yeah, and I think like adventure just in general strikes a nice balance between like being a more more of a power format than core, but not as crazy as harmony. And uh, it has like it, again, e e even if even if harmony has like different uh, so, some cards that like make real difference for some decks uh, compared to adventure, right? Like farm. The difference between like core and adventure is huge, but difference between adventure and core is not as big, I think. Adventure and harmony. So, yeah. oh, adventure and harmony, yes. And uh, I think it's like a a little price to pay to not have those cards from harmony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's fair enough to say that most of the cards that uh, are impactful from Premier Block are cards that people maybe aren't so keen to have back in their format anyway. Yeah. Um, either Trenderhoof. 
well, yeah, yeah, cards that, yeah, have multiple citations for stuff that wasn't particularly fun before. Uh, like, the only real counterpoint I guess I can have is in, uh, well, mostly in Absolute Discord, there were a good number of kind of cards that never quite were... Well, Absolute Discord was a set filled with lots of weird stuff, because, I mean, that was kind of the whole point of the set. And so there are a number of cards in there that, like, creative deck builders, Johnny's like me, think, oh, that card never got a chance to to, to see the light of day. We should keep, uh, keep it around for some whatever new interaction is going to make it good, finally. Um, which is, I guess, a small point. But maybe it just means that we'll, we we just need another absolute Discord set. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, absolute Discord, I think, did a fairly good job at being like a, a wacky set. Mm -hmm. I, I think they they've met that goal. What we need is unset. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna argue against that. In general, it's yeah, it all should be tricksy. Trixie? Well, I mean, well, un, 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 you're asking something. <laughs> an unset for this game is going to be a bunch of memes about the community, obviously. So yes, there's going to be plenty of Trixie. Oops, old Trixie. No, so what it should be, it should be like regular, regular unset cards, but on every card there's uh, the inconvenient Trixie meme. You know that meme, right? I don't think so, no. Oh, so uh, Inconvenient Trixie is like, there's a, uh, there was like a bunch of arts of Twilight doing something, and there was like a Trixie inconveniently not letting her do that something. And it oh. was, it's, it's like, if you Google Inconvenient Trixie, you'll probably find it. Or like on Derpy, there's a tag or something. Uh, I suppose I can give it a quick look. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, that'd be a direction to follow, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah. So that all seems to, I guess, lead in a direction of suggesting that Harmony is irrelevant in the current sort of state of things, right? It's not, um, doesn't really provide anything that Adventure doesn't already give us. Yeah. And we don't really lose much by letting go of it. Yeah. Yeah. And you hear Sundial crying somewhere? I mean... <laughs> He's he's doing pretty fine still. Farm is still relevant in adventure. It's still relevant in core. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying farm is irrelevant now, but uh, it has so, such an like. I think I think farm benefits from harmony more than anything else. Well, maybe combo, but mm. yeah. Well, no one likes to talk about combo. <laughs> yeah. So. I guess if I were to take the the devil's advocate position here, or the harmony's advocate position here, like I I did have an idea over one way to potentially make harmony more relevant and more worth keeping, um, and have like more of an identity, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which would be to 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 open it up wide, basically, and. Um, Essentially, unban any card that was banned because it warped the meta. So, get back F-Stop, get back DJ main, get back maybe even Element of Honesty, um, and maybe rename it, like, Legends or something, instead of Harmony, and have it just be 
some extent, kind of what Harmony was before Core. What, well, before, what am I uh, saying here? Like, Harmony has, has always kind of had that reputation as the Wild West of um, places of degeneracy, I guess you could say. Um, and so, yeah, let it be in that location where you can play some pretty busted stuff but not all the way nightmare alley right yeah but th that's kind of stepping into nightmare territory though like now we have the problem that uh like harmony doesn't have as much identity as it has before because of adventure mm -hmm. but if you move it into harmony territory you have the same problem except between Harmony and Nightmare. Right. But Nightmare is not a real format. Not neither would I but suppose. The, yeah, but would Harmony be a real format? Mm, yeah, that's a that's a fair point to make. I mean, to be fair, I guess I'm not I'm not saying unban stuff like um mailbox or element of magic or uh, or stuff like that. Um or Flutter Guy. But then banned F-Stop? So how do you draw the line? Well, F-Stop was banned because, like, every purple deck ever used it. Not because it enabled a particularly silly combo deck or anything. So basically, uh, you don't want to fight anything other than combo, then? Combo or decks that violate a foundational principle of the game, right? So, like, tent abuse stuff is, you know, straight up saying your opponent doesn't get to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, kind of similar to, I, I think, kinda, uh, Sim kind of said it in their most recent ban list update that, like, combo is fine to some extent, so long as it wins fast and doesn't just make everyone's day suck. I think you could adopt something like that here and say that even, you know, to within a certain point of saying that, okay, as long as you don't win within like the first three turns and when you do go off, it's relatively straightforward and doesn't take half an hour, then combo can be fine. Yeah, I guess. And it it, 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 sorry, go on. Well, no, go go ahead. Well, yeah, just to say that then it, it it is the format where you go to to play the old big sort of legendary decks, and to some extent, kind of as nightmare to some extent was when the other few times that it's been played. You know, whatever the current deck that just got banned from Adventure or or whatever was, you take it over there and see if it's see if it can throw down with the Titans. Yeah. And sure, well, it, I mean, sorry, go on. I, mean, I I still don't see how that would be much different from like imagine Nightmare without the. First to confront rules. Mm -hmm. So what you get is basically the same format as you're describing, except without combo, right? Or really bad combo. I suppose so, yes. So like and so basically what I'm getting at is that you have Nightmare, which is uh I guess uh, aggro is king because of the first to confront rule. Mm -hmm. And you would have Harmony, where I would say maybe Control is the king, because most of the banned cards are control, really good for Control. Control or Farm, definitely. Yeah, if we're... like one of those two. Oh, yeah. if, do you unban AJ? <laughs> if you unban AJ, you give Farm a chance, that's for sure. And I, yeah. I, I think by the philosophy I've just described, you probably do. Yeah, I guess you do unban AJ. But like the, there's a reason those cars are banned, right? So would unbanning them actually make a fun format? 
like Nightmare is fun because nobody really plays Nightmare. It's kind of a <laughs> meme, right? Uh, by if that's what your definition of fun is, I guess, yeah. Fun in small doses, I suppose. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of like strong alcohol, I guess. I don't drink alcohol, but that's what I assume alcohol is like. You like take a small shot and it's good for you. I don't know. I don't know why people drink. Mm, yeah, that's definitely a discussion for another time. <laughs> but like, yeah, something of the same sort where you don't take too much of it and it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you're saying that this harmony would essentially be just that. Yeah. Like, uh, would it be a fun format otherwise? And that definitely is a good question. Uh, the the meta game would definitely be very, well, frankly, stale is the is the word. It always has been. Like, um, Sim is obviously not going to print anything good enough to interfere with that place, right? Well, actually, hmm. I say that, but they did just print infiltration orders last set, which was a, a you know did enable a tan abuse style combo in adventure. Yeah, but I mean you can't really catch everything. Yeah, so, so it, it's not it's not <clears throat> excuse me, it's not outside of the question that new material might end up enabling stuff on harmony slash nightmare levels. Especially with older cards and the sort of stuff that was in the in, 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 in the premiere block. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, on balance, we would expect uh, some decks not to change for sure. Yeah. And so it would have to appeal to a different kind of fun, for sure. Like, it's, it's not necessarily... It wouldn't necessarily be a format for um, um, the creative deck builders. It'd be a format for nostalgia. Which I suppose adventure kind of already is. It's just a little bit more nostalgia. <laughs> Right. Well, yeah. Nostalgia for the stuff that got banned, basically. But, I mean... So, so okay, like, nostalgia is nostalgia, but you can play your old decks with banned cards on the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. Like, would you... Is there really a place for nostalgia in tournaments? Well... For one thing, as hard as it, as it is to sort of accept the fact, for, for the vast majority of players, kitchen table pony cards doesn't really exist. At least. Yeah, that's fair. Most of the people that we interact with on a, on a daily basis. Um, yeah. Like most games take place in either the Coco events or proper tournaments. Which I guess, I mean see practice games happen in Discord all the time, I guess, but even then. Yeah, like most people were probably not going to build a deck for a format like in which they can't really play in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Which is why you never see anyone play Nightmare. It's usually always Adventure or Core. I apologize. I, I I cottoned on to that point and then forgot what the rest of your question was. Uh, I well, my my question really was like, is there a reason to have like tournaments just for nostalgia? And, right. Uh, right. Yeah, and I I, I see like I, I I could say, oh well, we play Nightmare every so often, but well, again, that comes back to then this is just Nightmare. Yeah. And if this is just Nightmare, like, they kind of... Th these two formats would just compete for place, right? Mm -hmm. 
like, uh, sh should we have Nightmare at this tournament or should we have Harmony? But uh, on the other hand, like it's uh, with adventure around, it's really hard to say like when, like, oh, what's what is the phrase I'm looking for? Like there is little place left for harmony already. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, everything that used to be harmony is now an adventure, but pretty much, pretty much, or well, so far that we've seen so far, yeah. Yeah, and I guess it's it's fair to say, by definition, uh, the game's never had three formats, or or at least three formats as different from each other as these ones. Like you can talk about Popper or Nightmare or whatever, yeah. but those were always niche. Right? There's never been a sort of organized play um, motivation to try to actually hold up three formats. Um, and that coupled with the game being such a small community, growing, yeah. but small, um, it may be that we just probably shouldn't have three formats that we try to actually hold up. Yeah. But uh, an another point is uh, like a plus to Harmony, and is the reason. Like when core was the most popular format, even even before the core rotation, you know when the core was just introduced, mm -hmm. uh, core was like everywhere online, right? And maybe in North America, but a lot of other places were still holding harmony tournaments because, first of all, a lot of people who are not like as uh, invested into the game, so to say, they like have a deck and they play with it. And it's uh, a little bit easier for the tournaments to gather more players this way when you have a lot of players who just like have a deck. And if it's a harmony deck, they're just they're not going to build a core deck. They're just not going to participate. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe maybe there is like a place for harmony to exist for in like in this kind of situations. Yeah, I mean that's largely why. I guess I I, I don't have a front row seat to this, but. Uh, to my understanding, that was largely the reason why Van Hoover, the convention, has kind of become a... It was Harmony, and I guess they played Adventure this year. Um, but it was for precisely that reason, that the, the, the sort of local community there kept on playing Harmony um, after Core came out. And yeah. the... The premier block cards are still in fairly wide circulation, if I recall correctly, right? I mean, I feel like every every week or so, someone shows up with a batch of them looking to trade, yeah. generally speaking, on uh, on Discord. But um, they're still like the easiest ones to find, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, there is probably a point to be made about ease of access and that sort of thing. But I think I I I, I my grandpa has said it, I think, well, maybe not in public, but kind of intimated that because the Premier Block game is so different from the game that came afterwards, it's possible that Sim like really really, really wants to push people into those later sets. Because it is just like better MLP CCG, right? Yeah, like uh, a starter deck from Premier is just not comparable to something like a starter deck from High Magic. Mm -hmm. And uh, starter decks from High Magic are so highly regarded because they're just more fun. Was there a... I'm trying to think. Trixie was a starter deck main, wasn't she? Yes. I, I thought... It's called Steal the Show. It has Paper Twice, uh, the most famous Oh, that's right. Deck. That's right. <laughs> Paper Twice was a fixed card. I forgot about that. Yeah, I have a playset, foiled playset of them. It was kind of hard to come by because when I like started playing the game, 
all of the starter decks with Paper Twice were sold out. You mm. would usually have Pinky on them. But I was kind of trading with the people here, trading with them there to get myself a play set of foiled Paper Twice. And now they're banned, so I never really played them. Same happened with the F-Stop. Like, I, I got my play set of F-Stop, and I was like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play things with F-Stop, and then I got banned <laughs> soon afterwards. Well, you could at least, by what I'm suggesting, you could play them in harmony. I mean, yeah. But would that be like the best thing, or maybe there would be something even more broken? Who knows? Yeah, that's a like, what's the problem with Nightmare, right? I can't, like, I could play F stop in Nightmare. Yeah. It's just like there's no point because Anger will just steamroll you. I mean, it's possible to. The lock is still the lock if you can make it happen. Yeah, I don't know. No. It's it's no yeah. As someone who has tried playing F stop in Nightmare, it's it's not it's not the it's not the way to go. Yeah. And so, like, if you want Harmony to be this like less curated format, that kind of thing will happen. Like, you you might not get the nostalgia you're looking for because the nostalgia you're looking for is just not good compared to something else that is there. Which steamrolls everyone. So it's it's kind of like hard to find balance between like not curating the format but also curating it, you know? Right, yeah, exactly. And and that's kind of Yeah, it'd be it'd be hard to find that line for sure. At, 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 at some point, if you're just looking for nostalgia, you're just gonna curate the format to one where your deck is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want uh, adventure, but all of the so all of the print and play cards are banned, right? Uh -huh. uh, also, we don't have no. We still have friends forever. Uh, we unban all the money, <laughs> and we unban uh, our portal is not banned in adventure. So there we go. And we also unban a bunch of other things. So basically, we have our good old BRB deck. Absolutely. Or not BRB. Oh, no, for me, it wouldn't be BRB. For me, it would be the Tempest Blue-White, yeah. Yeah, that whole thing. And uh, the pink, uh, pink orange, we banned that, too, because uh, that tech beats my deck really hard. <laughs> I see no problems with this plan. <laughs> I was so lucky in at Ciderfest. In my top six, my first top sixteen match was against uh, <laughs> Pink Orange Lyra. It destroyed me, and I guess it destroyed everyone else because it won the it tournament. Won. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I don't know if I have much else to say on the matter. Um, I mean that uh, that was my sort of thinking on it. There were three well, possibilities we could... that, that. Sorry, go on. Well, we could uh, no, that, like interesting. One thing that I would be interested to hear. So your like your proposition where like we unban some cards and make it basically harmony, uh, harmony nightmare light format, so to say. Nightmare light. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What decks would you play then? Are you looking for anything particular? What do you think people would play? Other than farm, of course, people would play farm. Other than farm, obviously. Um, well, there would obviously be bugles. Uh, you know, fireworks. Uh, okay, that too, I guess. I, 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 <laughs> I, yeah. I was thinking any number of the variants of DJ Toolbox Control. Yeah. Because um, Gyro, he, he, we're, we're not even unbanning him. He's still just still a thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> but with F-Stop, it becomes so much better. Yeah. With F-Stop, with DJ Main, I mean, all that's back on the table. Um, 
maybe it would be kind of like a mix fireworks plus some kind of two boxy control. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's mm. nice. They kind of use the same colors, so right. I mean, that's actually a fair question. Would you would you unban Nightmare Moon? I mean, I guess you'd have to. I I really don't like that card. I don't hate it with passion, like I hate uh, on living ground. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I am. I was so glad it got banned. Like it was the best thing ever to get banned. I never liked it. <laughs> right, and and that's but one that, of the cards. Uh, Sorry, go on. Like, but uh, my opinion on the card doesn't really matter whether it should be unbanned. Right, someone might hate F stop. Yeah, and, and and yeah, that's one of the cards that really hits right on the edge of sort of the criteria, quote unquote, that I laid out earlier. Um, because well, fireworks combo, yes, it it may means you don't uh, get to have a hand. Yeah, I would say like tangible combo is kind of similar tangible. Uh, fireworks combo is kind of similar to Tentibus, right? Just don't get to play, really, because you never have a hand. Mm -hmm. Like it's really, really, really hard to do anything when, once it goes off. Like I know it wins by milling you, but you have like very little chance to do anything about it because your your hand is always gone. Right. Yeah. So if if Nightmare Moon doesn't exist, then Fireworks combo can't exist. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it would be standard pink-purple control, I guess. Um, I have a feeling that Hot Wings would probably still be reasonable. Yeah, I mean, it gets a lot of problems. I don't, like, I don't think there's anything that's banned on Hot Wings, right? Oh no, uh, Berry Punch, that's right. Right, Berry Punch, yes. Oh no. <laughs> Do we unban that too? I mean, I think so. It's not, it, it's just really, really good. It's not like... You steal Berry Punch, uh, you steal F-Sop, you play Belly Flop, you retire Berry Punch. And then you exhaust F stop for 180, and you play by the flop again, retiring F stop. Wow. That's an Rude. idea. Will never happen, though, because F stop is always exhausted. That's a good point. Good point. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, would yellow have a chance? So, I guess there's a question, too. I mean, you can't undo erratas. Is that... That makes everything so confusing. Yeah. It's just, yeah, in this format, this card says this thing, but in this other format, this card says the other thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the question of the reformed cards is an interesting one, too. Because I guess... you. Uh you could just I think have... it would still make yeah like uh, uh, you, you could just have them unbanned so to say right because that's how it technically works and, but and I think it would still make it very confusing to just have two different grow guys yeah and especially since you could combine like you could have six growers in your deck one with the immediate keyword and another one with main phase unless you ban all of the reformed cards to tackle this issue mm hmm yeah, I don't know. I'm like I would not touch that at all. I would just keep it as is. Yeah, yeah. I I, I was gonna say that maybe maybe old old stunning wonder, if we allowed it, would have a chance with day shift and stuff like that. Uh, but if we're not gonna touch the reformed cards, then clearly not. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? I I think. Frankly, old style VRV would have a chance with old money back in. I think with old money, I think that would be the deck, to be honest. Because you get F stops, you get old money. It's just crazy. I don't think you even need pink anymore. You can just play purple white 
I don't think you get anything from pink. Hmm. Well, you would maybe get DJ main. Yeah, well, you run that main, but you play purple pink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. Well, how about, like, how, I, 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 eh, I guess it would probably do okay against farm, too. Probably. I mean, yeah, all, I mean, old money and portal obliterates troublemakers. So oh, there's no right. Old money hits everything. Yeah, I that's that's it. like that's so good, right? <laughs> Surprised it doesn't hit mains. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it uh, it would definitely be well positioned, I suppose. Um, yeah. I'm not really coming up with any ideas anymore else. I'm also like kind of curious uh, with all of the like with orange being really pushed into like exhaust things now, right? Mm -hmm. Where you really like when your opponent opponent's cars are exhausted. I wonder if F stop is still good with that. Like if you unban just F stop, don't touch anything else. Would orange counter that? Orange counter F stop. Yeah, because like it really likes cards mm -hmm. to be exhausted. Mm -hmm. It's possible, but it would suck for everybody else. Yeah, it would. It will be like kind of a silver bullet situation, right? Yeah. But uh, orange can like either keep F stops exhausted forever or dismiss them or do something like it really likes them but i guess we also had a breakdown all this time mm -hmm. which is also an exhaust hate yeah we uh well uh, we had breakdown going back to was it magic. ad or whichever we had lasso champion oh uh was that yeah. cg or ad no uh breakdown no 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 I, i'm talking about the applejack but um uh, the La lasso champion i think it's I think it's AD. But maybe not. There's so many Apple Jacks in yes. Premier. Yes, it is AD. <laughs> You're right, frankly. Yes. But yes, it was AD. There's Carbal Order, there's Lesser Champion, there's some other Apple Jack I'm forgetting. Back in the day when all the orange URs were just Apple Jacks. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's uh, Harmony is in a really weird place. I don't think touching it will change it. Like, he will just move it from one weird place to another. Yeah. And uh, I think Harmony is already kind of a less, like... Like, it's not it's not as curated as um, Adventure and Core, I think. That's, like, the feeling. Like, it's still kind of curated, but it's not as much curated. And it's... It's not. It's not a surprise since it's not as a popular format anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think I think the upshot of this whole conversation has been to to kind of say that there isn't really a space between nightmare and adventure, really, at least not one big enough to. Um, support not, a proper I form. wouldn't say big. I would say. Distant enough from either of them. Yes. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. But you did say at, at, at the start of the stream that you thought we would have some harmony events eventually. Yeah, I think I think we would. It's just uh, I, I don't know. Like, there's no reason to not have harmony events. And again, there's also the accessibility thing. I think that's the the primary advantage of Harmony right now is the accessibility. If you know that you're like at the convention and you know there are like a lot of players who are not like actively playing the game but would like to, to play in a tournament, I think you should probably make that tournament Harmony. But at the same time, your point I think makes it a little bit better like to unban some of the cards. Because a lot of people who are like not following the game probably have banned cards in their decks, 
like vinyl. Yeah, that's that's an interesting thought. I didn't quite think about it that way. Um, vinyl or even Applejack, uh, Element One listing. Yeah, so I guess. Well, yeah, with some select numbers, yeah, there may be a, a line to draw where you can unban some of that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, purely for accessibility, I guess. Yeah. Which makes sense. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's 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 likely going to be at least as far as. Uh, proper, modern, competitive, constructed goes, a uh, two-format future. Yeah. Which is fine. Adventure and core are very fun. I agree. But I want my paper to buy back. <laughs> I have a shirt with paper to buy. Now I can't wear it. Oh, huh, really? I well, guess, uh, well, yeah, I guess I've never... In your paper toy shirt. Ah, so yeah, so funny story. I had like a fox avatar at some point uh -huh. uh, in Discord, and uh, Beagle asked, like in the chat, like that's not Trixie, which I mean, a fair point. Mm -hmm. And I said, "What does he frog say?" And he and Beagle answered, "I exhaust Twilight for et," and that was so true. <laughs> <laughs> I say that all the time. So I made a shirt where there was a picture of Twilight Exhausted and text I exhaust Twilight for 18. And I was wearing it at Cider Fest. Nice. But now I can't wear it because I can't say that anymore. Um There are ways to say it, but not many. For eighteen, like they even banned the ambassador of friendship. Uh, like it's so hard. Isn't there the the problem in adventure? It lets you exhaust your main for eighteen. Ah, uh, yeah, entrance exam. Yes, I think that's it. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I think that kind of brings us to the end of points to make. Yeah. I think we're pretty much exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I did not intend that, actually. I realized. Wow, okay. Yeah, I realized after I said it. Uh... Yes, we have uh, exhausted all of the AT out of this subject, probably. Um, so yeah, glad for anyone who uh, stuck with us and uh, appreciate your viewership. If you would like to see any of our past content, I should get rid of the... We've got two pinned messages in Discord here. Uh, anyway. Um, you can find us over there on YouTube. While you're there, feel free to uh, subscribe or give us a like or whatever. And for what it's worth, consider following us here on Twitch as well. Um, so you get notified the next time that we go live, which will be two weeks. Actually, no, maybe it won't be two weeks from now. It's two weeks from now is Babs gone. Oh, yeah. Um, so it may be uh, at some point uh, in the future beyond that. Um, but yeah. you know, uh, pay attention on Reddit or on, uh, on uh, the MLP CCG Discord, and we'll let you know when it'll be there. Yep. Otherwise, once again, thanks for listening in. I've been Cursor Chords. And I've been Hifrock. And we will see you in a fortnight. Bye.